Well, hello there, friends. I have a perfect dessert for a romantic dinner. A white chocolate, orange, and raspberry creme brulee. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. Stay tuned. We're going to make it right now. Well, hello there, friends. Let me show you how easy it is to make this wonderful raspberry, white chocolate, and orange creme brulee. Raspberry and orange, they were meant to be together. I'm telling you, you guys are going to love this. It's really, really good. It's easy, too. Come on, eh? The creme brulee is the easiest dessert in the world to make. So, look, I got those really cool molds because this would be a perfect dessert for Valentine, eh? We designed that so you can make it for Valentine, but you got to make it at least 24 hours before, friends, okay? So, if Valentine is on a Monday, you got to make it on a Sunday, yeah? So, you have time to let her set. To let it harder, to, to, to let it solidify overnight. It's better. You can do it in a few hours, but trust me, do it overnight, my friends. It's better. Look how cool those are, huh? right? So normally, a, a creme brulee dish is about this. This is a, a typical creme brulee dish you got. I got plenty of those, but I figure Valentine is on the, on the way, so it'd be a perfect thing to do to put a heart shape. But normally, they're four ounces. So four ounces. This is six ounces, so extra. Valentine, extra, nothing wrong with that, right? So, <laughs> so, so what you do, you measure your container, right? right? This one is about six ounces, uh, five and a half, six ounces, right? So you measure your container, and then you multiply by how many you make. Normally, a creme brulee takes one egg, but since it's a four ounce, I put one and a half eggs. So I got six eggs in here. You're going to have to decide. You know what I'll do? I'll write a recipe for the no more four ounces because you may not be able to get those. I got those on Amazon, so... You can get it, maybe, okay? So, um, uh, uh, um, one, one egg per, per four ounces. So, I put one and a half for six, just in case. So, I got six eggs right here, right? So, or, or the cream is measured right there, and I'm going to put some white chocolate. The white chocolate is going to give a sugar, and I put about a half an ounce per, per, per person. Half an ounce per person. You can add more if you want. Be careful. White chocolate, there's a lot of sugar in there. So, um it's up to you. I put it not necessarily for the flavor. I put it because it gives you a nice structure, a little more of a bite, a little more of a consistency. It's really nice. The sugar, um, we're going to put just about a half a teaspoon per person. Okay? That's what we're going to do now. Half a, teaspoon, half a tablespoon, sorry, per person. That's something you're going to have to adjust yourself. You'll see. When we do the whole thing, we'll test it and we'll see if we need to put more. Vanilla bean. You can certainly put a beautiful vanilla uh, extra pure, 100% pure vanilla extra. I use Tahitian vanilla. It's beautiful. Or if you got some extra money, take a second mortgage on the house and get one of those. It's a vanilla bean. You know, they're expensive. Mama me, I tell you, they're ridiculous. This is Tahitian vanilla bean. You take your vanilla bean, you cut it in half, my friends. See right there? You cut it in half. And then what you do, you take the, 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 um, the seeds out of it. You take your knife right there and you see, look, this is what you want. This is what you're spending all that money for, is this, guys, right there. Those seeds right there. This is what you spend all that money for. Ridiculous, isn't it? But it really tastes good. If you, you know, one day, look, you got some extra money, okay? You want to use it? Uh, take, it a mortgage, <laughs> take it a mortgage on the house. I tell you, it's ridiculous. But, you know, one day maybe you say, look, I got no extra money. I'm going to What do you do with this? Don't throw it away, mama mia. You take this and you put it in your sugar container. Just like that, put it in a sugar container. And this right there will perfume your sugar. You'll have su uh, uh, vanilla sugar. Yeah, yeah, it's wonderful. A pinch of salt, never forget. You wonder, why do I put a pinch of salt in something that's sweet? Don't worry about it. You're never going to taste the salt. Salt has a magical way to wake up ingredients. All right, so now cream is hot. We're going to let him, the vanilla bean uh, infused a little bit. Now we're going to do the egg. Very simple, okay? So I got the eggs right here. The cream is hot, by the way, folks. I did it earlier, so I didn't waste too much time, okay? Because I, I have tendency of losing weight, losing weight, losing time by blah, 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 blah. So I'm not going to talk too much. <laughs> so we got the eggs in here. We're going to do what is called tempering the egg. Let's take a ladle so we do it correctly, right? We take a ladle of the cream. Let me see if I can do it without messing up too much. And what you do, you want to temper the egg. You, tempering means you introduce the heat slowly. So they don't realize they're cooking. That's all. It's really simple, huh? I tell you, nothing really different. Nothing diff uh, difficult to melt to do, right there. I just wanted to make sure my white chocolate was melted completely. So I make sure I do that because the white chocolate has to melt. 
And then you know what we'll do? Let me turn the heat off. I don't need to be worried about the heat. We will um, uh, adjust the sugar. And the sugar is really up to you. You know, some people like a lot of sugar. Some people like very little sugar. It's really up to you. I, I really don't like my dessert to be too sweet. I'm sweet enough. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, mean, I like it when I come up with some good ones. So look, look, look. You know, I want to teach you stuff that are simple, folks. Let's not make too much bubbles because we don't like the bubbles. So we're going to stop with a whisk because everything is good. We're going to now put this in here and we're going to go with a spoon, okay? We don't want to put too much bubbles. Look at the vanilla beans right there, friends. You see? see? Look at the vanilla beans right there. That's where all the money is. Right there on the vanilla bean. All right? And we're going to continue. We're going to do this. Now, if you have time, you can let it infuse a little bit longer if you're not making a video like me. What else are we going to put in here, friends? Well, we're going to flavor with orange. Orange zest. Remember, you now all of you that have been watching my video for a while, you know how to use the tool. Not like all those ding-dongs that do it the other way around. You see, it's made to be used with a tool on top. Not... The, 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 not like they all do. You know, you know how they do it, right? right? So go like this. Like this. See? Very simple, friends. You go like this. See? And go like this. And don't go like this, because then you don't know where you're going. Yeah, they all go like this, then they don't know where they're going. And then what happened? They end up going to the white, and the white is in the pit, and the pit is not so good. All right? So I think that's enough right here, because that's a huge orange. Let's see what do we got here. Let's mix it up really good. Now I'm gonna test for sugar. Let me make sure I don't forget nothing. I got my chocolate, I got this, I got my spoon. I'm gonna test for sugar. Mix it up really good and see how it is, okay? Hmm. How about another two tablespoons of sugar? It's really up to the chocolate you're using, my friend. If you're using, the chocolate is very, very sweet, then you're gonna to have to wet it. That's why you test it. It is no right or wrong here. It's whatever makes you happy. That's all. Whatever makes you happy. Let me test it again to make sure it's good. I think I got it. Mm, delicious. Don't forget, we're going to put more sugar on top of the creme brulee later. So, what do we do now? We're going to act smart. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a measuring cup, and we're going to pour it in a measuring cup. And make sure we really, really mix, friends. Oh, yeah, act smart. Very smart. That was smart. <laughs> Very smart. And let's keep mixing it up because you know what's going to happen. The orange and the vanilla thing are going to fall. You can also put the orange in here. When I used to do it at the restaurant, I used to put the orange in each one of my dish because then I knew for sure that everybody got orange because when you make 100 of those, by the time you get to the bottom of your container, all the orange just fall in the bottom. All right, look, look, look. That's it. Let's make sure I measured correctly. I should have measured correctly. It should go almost to the top, okay, friends? should go almost to the top. And now, we're not finished, though, friends. We're going to cook that by Marie. Bagno di Maria. Now, I don't know what Maria got to do with anything, but <laughs> we use Maria as a bagno di Maria. Maria... It's a water bath for Maria. I don't know where Marie was in the history of uh, cooking, but she was there somewhere. We're gonna put some hot water, and we're gonna put it. We're gonna create the bath for Maria. Hot water. It doesn't have to be boiling water. Okay. I see people doing this. They boil the water. Quite the contrary. I don't want you to have boiling water. I want you to have hot water, but not boiling water. The idea is to create a gentle hey, you keep going the idea my friends is to create a gentle warm bath of moist heat so if we go dry heat they're not going to cook evenly if we create a moist heat they're going to create evenly and the idea is to cook it very slowly my friends very slowly see i couldn't do this before because my water took a while to get hot okay so here the the best thing to do here friends not to make a mess is you take one out of there, right? And you go like this, otherwise you're gonna make a huge mess. You see? And you go about halfway, friends, about halfway. Okay? I got a preheated oven, 325 degrees. I'm gonna pop them in the oven, I'm gonna let them rest, 
And then I'm going to let them cool overnight. All right, that's all I'm going to do. Very simple. I'm going to pop in the oven now. I'm going to need somebody to help me open up the door, so we're going to do it after. So we're going to pop them in the oven, right? We're going to, do, we're going to, we're going to cook them, and then we're going to refrigerate them overnight. And then oven, so I'll come back when they're done, and I'm going to show you how to finish them. I'm going to do it with uh, a sugar in the raw. They're going to have a nice crunch to it, all right? So we'll be back when they cook tomorrow for you, only a few seconds. You know, it wouldn't be my cooking show <laughs> if I didn't forget something. I, raspberry, orange, creme brulee, they're made to go together, right? I forgot to put them in. That's okay, because normally I put them in the bottom so I don't forget them. <laughs> Look at me. So boom, boom, they're going to fall anyway, so don't worry. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. You know, it will never be the same show, right? They shows that there, man. I tell you, they never forget anything. I don't know how they do <laughs> I don't know how they do it, <laughs> because uh, I forget all the time. But that's okay. We don't mind, right? This is what makes it fun. This is what makes a reality. This is a reality cooking show. Oh, mama mia. Hey, you, get back in there. Go in there. All right, there we go, friends. That is it. We're going to go back. We're going to continue to put them in the oven. We'll see you when they're done. Okay, friends. I just took them out of the oven. I just want you to see it, what it's supposed to be like. You see, look, if you shake them, they jiggle. Little jiggle. Now, I don't want some, like, big jiggling, no? Just a little jiggle. See? Just... Can you see it? I, I hope you can see it. Now, what I want you to do, my friends, uh, now I want you to take them out uh, out of the water so they continue cooking. Be careful when you take them out because there's going to be some water to take it out. So don't go on top of the other one. Okay, and be careful. Get yourself a spatula to help you. Otherwise, you're going to put water. <laughs> when you take, take it out, you don't put water on top of them. Okay, little jiggling. All right, now we're going to refrigerate them. And they'll be ready tomorrow to finish with the sugar in the roll. All right? So we see you tomorrow when they finish for a few seconds for you. Okay, friends. Well, they were in the fridge all night. You see, no more jiggling. No more jiggling. They're not moving anymore. <laughs> they started. So now, uh, there's two ways to, to serve these, friends. You can do it with the regular sugar, or you can do it with um, a sugar in the roll, or, or naked sugar, whatever you call it. Uh, I think it's called sugar in the roll. Let me tell you why I love sugar in a roll, okay? It's not traditional, but, you know, I don't like to do too many things traditional. I like to change it every so often. It gives you a nice crunch. Now, nothing wrong with the classical way, classic way of doing it, um, but the, the, the sugar in a roll, I promise you, friends, gives you an amazing crunch, okay? If you want to do it with a regular sugar, here it is, regular sugar, okay? And, it's, and the regular sugar gives you kind of like a, a glass top, which is really cool also, okay? But uh, maybe put a little less sugar than this, okay? All right, so um, either way, either way, it doesn't matter. What's important is to be on it now. Now, you can get those cool little torch, you know, you go to like uh, stores, uh, kitchen stores or, or, or Target, or I'm not sure where, but you get those little torches. They're really cool. And you can do about uh, 15 creme brulee or 20 creme brulee. And, uh, and it's like uh, 30, 20, 30 bucks, okay? Home Depot, okay? Home Depot. This is like five bu bucks. This is like $15, 20 bucks. 6,000 creme brulee, <laughs> minimum, minimum, minimum. You can do your plumbing. You can rewire really the whole kitchen. You can do whatever you want. Be careful, okay? All right, look. I like to get them when they are self started See, I tell you, I should have been a plumber because I'm good with this stuff. Look, look. You click on it, and you click on this, and now you're ready to go. You're ready to do all your plumbing. Now, don't go too close because if you go too close, friends, what's going to happen is um, you're going to burn the sugar before it has time to melt. So don't go too close. See, you can stay far away. You just want to get it hot so it has time to melt. Okay, friends? Take your time. Take your time. People do it too close. And then uh, it, has, you know, it has no time to melt. You can smell it. It smells really cool, okay? So we'll do the two of them so you'll see, all right? It's really up to you which one you want to do. I, I love the, um, the sugar in the roll because of the, um, the crunchiness. It's really, really cool. This guy's going to do it too. You watch. Not the same, though. This is more classic, so it's up to you. You may not have sugar in a roll, okay? 
I want to burn it all. And voila, my friends. It's gorgeous either way. All right, this is more classic. And uh, this has more of a crunch. Okay, so. You gotta be the judge. Be careful, don't leave that for the kids, okay? <laughs> you know what I do? I put this in one side of the house and I put this on the other side of the house. So just in case the kids don't play with it, okay? So what we should do, friends, is we should take a clean spoon and, uh, and, and our sugar, because the whole idea, now be careful, because this is gonna be hot when you serve it, okay? You don't wanna get a piece of that sugar caught on your lips or on your tongue, because you're gonna remember, okay? Look, this is the, uh, I don't know if you can hear. Let me see. Man, it's hot. See, it's got the crunch, right? So this is the crunch that you get normally when you go to a restaurant that's how they serve it to you. See, so, so you crack it, and right there, and underneath, you got this amazing texture right there, you see? Look, look, you got that amazing texture. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. Nice, smooth, creamy. Or, right here, where you also get the crunch, but what you got right there, look how beautiful that is, you get the, mm. you probably can't hear, but you get the crunchiness. And you know, and uh, I don't wanna waste the time to do another one, but normally what I do, friends, I take uh, three raspberries, Right there, and that's before I mess up the whole thing, before I eat it like this, and I put a little bit of um, a powdered sugar, and I got a beautiful picture. So we're gonna redo another one to get a nice thumbnail. Friends, perfect for a romantic dinner, per perfect for any time. Just remember, make them in advance, let them cool overnight. All right, hope you make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. We'll see you with another video real soon. Thanks for watching.